In this problem, we are interested in the boundary layer that is developing above an advertising board that is placed above a car by a fluid dynamics teacher who wants to advertise for their fluid dynamics course. And what we'd like to quantify is um, two things. One is whether the boundary layer transits, which means whether it becomes turbulent, starting laminar, and if so, where? Uh, and the second question we're trying to answer is how thick does the boundary layer become above the board? So as, as we as it develops over uh, the board over here, how thick will it become overall? So perhaps if you uh, represent the situation as seen from the top, uh, above the car, you will get something that looks like this. Uh, this will be the board, like so. And on each side of the board, you will have a boundary layer developing. And this boundary layer starts at zero and it is laminar. And then it will transit at some point and then becomes turbulent, at which point it becomes thicker and it grows uh, faster. Whoop, this should not be a straight line, like so. So uh, the question that we are trying to answer really is two things. Is one is uh, if it transits, uh, at which distance? The X transition, the longitudinal distance at which it's transiting. And the second question we try to answer is uh, what is the maximum thickness? Uh, that the boundary layer reaches over the board. So let's take a look. Um, the transition uh, point is guided by a general principle which says that the Reynolds number, uh, based on distance, at which a boundary layer transits in general, is approximately half a million, five times 10 to the power five, like so. Um, and based on this, we can find which, which position uh, the transition occurs at. Uh, for the given flow conditions. So let's uh, expand this. We have rho v, or usually u, uh, u times x, x transition in this case here, uh, divided by mu, the viscosity. This has to be equal to the Reynolds number um, of the transition. Uh, this is not a fixed absolute rule for, for from physics, from the universe. Uh, this is just a general guideline, a general rule. Uh, depending on the conditions on the board, uh, you will have transition a bit earlier or a bit later. So let's uh, isolate here x transition. x transition um, is equal to the Reynolds number x transition uh, multiplied by the viscosity multiplied by 1 over density times uh, the main velocity. And if we now put numbers into this, then we're going to get here is r half million, 5 times 10 to the power 5, approximately. Uh, the viscosity is 1.5 times 10 to the power minus 5 for air, in this case, at this temperature. Um, and then we have 1 over the density of air, which is 1.225 kilograms per meter cube. Uh, and the velocity of the car, which in this case happens to be... I forgot. It happens to be... 10, 10 meters per second, like so. And so we get, if you plug this into your calculator, you get something like 0 0.612. And this is a distance that we're calculating. So this is a um, distance in meters, the position of the transition point, like so. So it means that if you look back at the board over the car, uh, you're going to have a laminar boundary layer right up until approximately this point here and so the x transition here will be 0 0.6 meters 60 centimeters uh, like so, like so yes so for a little bit of the board we're going to have a laminar boundary layer then it transits and then it becomes turbulent for the rest of the board so at this point this position here is 0 0.6 meters okay what about the thickness? What about the maximum thickness that the flow will, will reach? Well, the thickness is quantified um, in boundary layers for both the laminar and the turbulent case. And in this case, what we want to have is the equation for thickness inside uh, the turbulent boundary layer, which is, which is occurring here. And what we're going to do is to quantify delta max using the distance-based Reynolds number um, at the trail edge, trailing edge of the board. And so for this, we apply the, the model for boundary layer thickness in a turbulent boundary layer and this model is like so it says that and for this i have to go back to the formula sheet it says that um, delta the thickness of the boundary layer divided by x 
uh, this happens to be modeled at approximately, approximately as 0 0.16, as, as it would turn out, uh, divided by uh, the Reynolds number uh, based on distance to the power of 1 over 7. <laughs> and this is a, a, a general model um, for how thick a boundary layer becomes as it, as it grows, as it, um, as it develops uh, over a, or a flat surface. Uh, it's, again, not a basic law of physics. It is what is generally observed. Um, look at the videos for what a turbulent boundary layer, boundary layer looks like in the lecture notes. And you will see that uh, it's very difficult to define, really to see what's going on with um, uh, the thickness and how, how thick exactly, or even on average, a boundary layer would be uh, when it's turbulent. So keep this as a rule of thumb, uh, but don't tattoo it on your arm. Um, it's not worth it. And people certainly will argue about whether this is one over seven or one over six and a half and so on and so forth. So anyway, what we only have here is delta max. Um, and so for this, we're going to put all the values at the x max position, uh, like so. And so what we're going to do is to expand this and have it like this. So delta max is, as it turns out, in our case, 0 0.16 uh, multiplied by x max multiplied by the Reynolds number based on distance at its maximum value. Um, to the power of minus 1 over 7, like so. And if we expand this further, we get 0 0.16 multiplied by x max multiplied by um, rho u x max here to the power of minus 1 over 7. And then we have the mu, which is trailing over here, which is to the power of 1 over 7, like so. And so now putting in numbers, we are looking at x max. x max is the maximum distance that we have traveled along the boundary layer. So we're looking at this point here. And this point here is at, at the trailing edge of the board. So it's 3 meters. It's the maximum length of the, of the board. And so we have 0 0.16, and it turns out to be 3 meters for x max. And then we put in the values for density of the air, 1.225 kilograms per meter cube multiply by the free stream velocity, 10 meters per second, multiply by, again, x max, which is the maximum distance along which we have traveled with the boundary layer, all of this to the power of minus 1 over 7. And then I multiply this by the value of the density, uh, 1.5 times 10 to the power of minus 5, like so, minus 5, and this is to the power of 1 over 7. This is a little bit tedious to type into your calculator, so always be very careful when you do this. Um, um, learn the rules for priorities in how you type in the numbers, and this should get you uh, 0 0.587. Um, and this is a distance that we're calculating. It's a distance away from the wall, a thickness. So I'm sorry, I mistyped this. I misread my own notes. This is. 5.87 times 10 to the power minus 2 meters. And so this becomes now 5 times 87 uh, centimeters. And this is the maximum thickness that we have over the board over here. So let's come back to the, to the diagram here. So we have a sense of the scale of this flow. Um, this board overall, the width of this board, sorry, the length of this board is three meters. And above that, we have a boundary layer that's going to become five to six centimeters thick. Uh, so that you see that this diagram here, in this diagram, the vertical scale is a very much exaggerated compared to the longitudinal scale. If the car were to drive faster, uh, then this boundary layer thickness would reduce and it will become smaller and smaller. But in this case, with 10 meters per second, you're going to get the boundary layer that's approximately 6 centimeters. Again, I insist very much, this is the rule of thumb for the ideal case. Um, and so do not put too much uh, focus on the very last digits of your calculation, because all of those equations that we're using here, the transition point and the thickness model, are rules of thumbs for modeling the thickness of the boundary layers, and they're not fundamental physical laws.